Well, it's the uh, only day here of Riot Rumble. Rump Rumble on the Rift. Rumble on the Rift. That's what it is. Uh, it's the third day of TwitchCon, but I'm covering it here. A uh, big, cool matchup where pros and streamers and influencers all get together to compete against each other. Uh, and we just watched Nikki Taylor's team play. Uh, they won, as evidenced by the rope. Smoothies here. Uh, what was that? What was the game plan going into that match, Nikki? The game plan was uh, Smoothie. I know he's amazing, and he needed to make me look good, and he did. <laughs> okay. That was the plan. <laughs> Is that true? Nah, I mean, I didn't do anything in that game. Uh, I don't think I did, at least. I think it was mostly fogged, and uh, Nikki and I were like AFK for like half the game, trying to do math questions. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe you you can explain that because maybe some of the folks watching this didn't watch the game. What, what it's a whole thing where they Twitch chat votes on stuff and bad things happen. Right, so uh, they had me come up on stage mid-game and do math equations. So they'd ask me how much an item was, right? And I, I'd have to ask him, and he'd have to look it up in the game, and then he would help me add it together, and we're both terrible at math, so we okay. lost and looked a fool. Okay. We did great. We did great. <laughs> and then um, the next challenge after that, uh, Geronimo came up on stage and was controlling my mouse while I controlled the keyboard. And he inted, but team got barren, so it was worth. <laughs> so how, how was... How was this compared to the LCS stage? Was this more competitive and more more intense? Well, it's definitely up there. Um, yeah, I felt, I felt pressure a lot of it. Uh, I was sweating on stage actually. Okay. Yeah, it was uh, also very cold, so it also uh, yeah, yeah. it also reminds or reminds me of stage too. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have the hand warmer crutch that you do at LCS. That's that's rough. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, what what was it like for you, sort of getting to be a part of this? What was the process for uh, ending up on the Rumble on the Rift? They literally just asked me, and they said, hey, you want to do that? And I said, I think I'm the lowest ranked person here, being plat four, but, uh, eh? And that's about it. Okay. Yeah. What, well, what did you think of the whole event? Was it fun? Oh, yeah. It was a lot of fun. And it was cool to get to play with so many people that were really good. Yeah. Of course. And, and how about for you? Because this is a little different than, I mean, we were joking, but it's very different than the LCS stuff. It's a little bit more uh, different. Let's go with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, usually in the past, I think these teams are actually relatively even, so that's good. Um, but in the past, right, or we never had like show events at all for like streamers and content creators. So um, these events are really, really important. Like you see Fortnite, they're doing a lot of this stuff too. Um, and yeah, like, seeing League do these kind of events is pretty nice. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's a good, cha nice change of pace. Yeah. Is it neat for you to sort of end up in this group with like pro players, influencers, streamers, etc.? Yeah. So we actually got to pick our teams. Okay. So. I picked these people on purpose. Okay, Fogged in his Trendemir top, dude. He was so good. It's everything I expected. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> How, what was the, what, did you get to do like research on them or did you have like a checklist? How did this happen? Are you drafted? So I was told uh, basically all my choices. You can pick from all these people and then they kind of want to keep the teams balanced. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I basically already knew everybody. Okay. I, I, I picked who I wanted. <laughs> why, why smoothie? Mm, honestly. I was actually gonna pick Wendy because Wendy's oh. my friend, but but I'm so much happier with Smoothie. <laughs> Thanks. Now we actually know what happened. Yeah. I didn't know Smoothie before this. I'm so glad I do now, though. <laughs> Hard carry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That stuff happens. Uh, Nikki, I'm gonna talk to him a little bit about Worlds, but where can people find your stuff? Find me at twitch.tv slash Nikki Taylor. I stream League um, and I sing and make stupid voices. It's a good time. Cool. Well, hopefully I can grab you for a thumbnail picture at the end of this, but thank you. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, Smoothie, I think we're going to take a step up. Here we go. Now, now it's just the two of us. Um, what was, did you get a chance to watch Worlds last night? Yeah, I watched all three games. Okay. So would C9 have made it to finals if you were on the team? Man, I get asked this question so much on stream really? and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's obviously, like, yeah, yeah. I left the team and they got to the semis, right? The furthest of any, any team's been. So, and I'm going to say, honestly, like, probably not. Like, yeah. I... There's something good going on with that team, you know? Yeah. And one thing changing make, could make that team, like, not that, right? Sure. So I really don't think so. Um, like, it sucks, to not, it sucks to not play on my old team um, when they've gone at the semis, right? Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. And I don't know, next split, I'm so excited for next split already. It's been such a long break for me. I've never had this long of, like, just doing nothing. Yeah. And uh, this event here at TwitchCon, is, it's a pretty nice break for me. Like not just grinding, streaming and stuff, um, meeting new people. So that's a good experience, but I'm really ready to get back into the grind again. Is it frustrating getting asked the question so much on Twitch chat? Yeah, I should probably make like a command for that nowadays. So <laughs> it's, it's all right though. Well, uh, what is it, do you feel happy for them? Do you feel jealous and envious? Because I, I know every pro player I always talk to whenever they see somebody from North America do really well, they're like, 
damn, I wish that was me. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Like, it's a bit worse for me because they're my old team, plus they're my friends, right? So all my friends do really, really well with their career. Like, um, probably Licorice was, like, one of my best friends when NC9. Like, even better than Sneaky and Jensen, honestly, in terms of just being, like, a friend outside of the game. Um, so I want them to all do really well. Uh, but, yeah, it just feels a bit... It's, it's a little jealousy there, for sure. But I think that, you know... Again, like those five players, they, there's something there, you know, there's chemistry. So, I, I, and if I'm not part of it, then that sucks. But uh, maybe next year, I'll have a team looks like that too. So, hopefully. Let's turn the, the music up even louder. So, hopefully, we're still, we're still good. But uh, what did you get a chance to watch last night's games? Yeah, I did watch the, all three. Well, I don't know if you saw the games the day before with IG, but who do you think is going to come out on top during finals? I didn't watch. Game two and three of IG versus CH2, but um, I heard they were both, obviously the 3 0s, they're both pretty decisive victories. Um, I think Fnatic looked really, really good, but and they've had a history of beating IG, right? So my bets on Fnatic winning, um, I'm gonna say 3 1 Fnatic. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not even gonna go to five games. No. That's hype. Well, uh, what's offseason been like for you? Um, you know, I'm just really trying to like explore things that are like not really in my comfort zone, like streaming, coming to like events like this that I never really got a chance to. Um, just content creation and all, like try and do some stuff like that. Um, just out of my comfort zone, you know. Very good. Well, is there anything you want to say to any of the fans here? Um, yeah, for all the fans, thanks a lot for watching me. Uh, yeah, still, like so many fans from C9 followed me to the Echo Fox, and I'm really, really appreciative of everybody who supports me. Uh, yeah, just thanks a lot. And I've seen a lot of people here, too, TwitchCon, who are fans of me, too. So, uh, shout out to you guys, and thanks for yeah supporting me. There you go. Thank you so much, Smoothie, for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things TwitchCon right here on my YouTube channel. Maybe this is a weird place to tell this story uh, after an interview is done. I don't know. But... I'm just going to open up. Growing up, I had a teacher who told me I would never amount to anything. And there was one thing in particular she said to me that really stuck with me. She said, Travis, you will never get 50,000 followers on Twitch. So, I don't know, maybe she's right. But if... I think there's a chance we might be able to prove it wrong. You just need to click the link in the description. Follow me there. Maybe throw me a Twitch Prime sub if you feel like it. Um, I don't know. It's something that's just sat with me for all of my life.